Hello and welcome, my dear Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus brothers and sisters. Hello and welcome to your reading for right now. Regardless, when you watch this video, it is for right now. Because if you were inspired uh, to watch this, even it's a year from now, <laughs> there is a message for you to hear. Okay, so thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate um, you being here. And of course, if I kindly, if you uh, ask, if you enjoy this video or enjoy my energy, whatever, please like and subscribe or share, whatever you like to do. And of course, this is a general reading. Um, and this could pertain to, to you personally or someone that's in your life. Uh, you know, but these are the energies that are around you. So place them where they need to be placed. Okay. If you want something more personal, more direct to you, just let me know and we'll schedule an appointment with you. Okay. So I had already pre-shuffled the cards and I called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me. And because of that, you can't go wrong. You can't pick the wrong cards. So I have them laying here in front of me. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and read the cards to you, okay? <laughs> um, there looks like um, there needs to uh, make a, a, some kind of decision, and it could be very complex. Um, and maybe you're putting it off, or somebody else needs to make a decision. You know, maybe you put the ball in their court, and they have to make a decision, and, and they're putting it off. You know, they're... they're uh, they're at a stalemate, you know, they're maybe thinking they're they're unable or unwilling to make the choice. And this could be with you as well. But the angels are saying, stop procrastinating. It's time to make a decision and go ahead and move forward. Um, maybe you're expecting the worst <laughs> uh, to happen. Maybe you're having some sleepless nights, whatever it is. But these are only self-fulfilling prophecies. Sure. You know, if you have a very strong faith and, and have, um, you know, knowing that God in the universe works for you, and then you know, there shouldn't be any problems. But it could be maybe you're getting some also some challenging informations. Uh, you know, maybe someone is not speaking tactfully. <laughs> you know, it could be you, it could be somebody else, whatever it is. But you really have to. I have five cards stating this. This is really, really, really strong and powerful energies that are around um, the, the, the earth brothers the children of the world. So uh, they're telling you, the angels are telling you to be very objective in your decision making. Really clear away what the, no longer serves you. You know, so if, if you have worry and fear, you got to clear it out of the way because you know the answer. You know the choice you need to make. And sometimes we doubt that intuition or our wisdom in, 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 in making choices or decisions. But it's really time to just clear it away. You know, if you know it doesn't serve a purpose in your life, if it doesn't, I tell people, if it doesn't take your thoughts, words, and actions, don't take you to a place of peace, they need to go. Okay. So very, be very mindful where your, where your thoughts are taking you, where your words are taking you, where your actions are taking you. But once you make this choice, once you make this decision, and you may, uh, you know, uh, have to get some advice, legal advice, maybe, maybe not, maybe advice from somebody else, but or do a little research before you make this decision, but it's time to do it now. It really is time to go ahead and do that. But justice is in your favor. Okay, so go ahead and do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, what, what you believe in. When you do this, when you do this, you are planting the seeds for abundance. Okay, go ahead and do this. You really have to balance these things out, though. You have to be balanced and wait for perfect timing. Don't be rushed, rush, 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 rush. Maybe that's delaying your choice decision because you don't know. You know, of course, you're not balanced. You're uh, you're hurt or worried. 
uh, you're not fearless or you're not tapping into your wisdom, but it's time to really buckle down and get this done. Honor, if you made a commitment, honor your commitments. Honor the commitment you made to yourself okay or to somebody else to go ahead and do this but when you do this opportunities are coming forward uh, you will have the self-discipline abundance things look very good just have a little just time to wait a little bit but things you can make long-term plans you can go ahead and move forward the seeds are planted it's just a temporary still don't no worry okay but the, allow the universe to bless you Make your choice, make your decision, stand in what you know is right and be balanced for it and things are going to move into your favor, but it's time to do it now. I said five cards about decision. It's actually six cards here. Yeah. But you will move forward. We have the chariot card here. You will definitely move forward. But let's go ahead and shuffle a few more cards and see if we get any... Uh, clarifiers or confirmation of what has already been had come out okay uh, i'm an earth sign so and um yeah there there are some decisions that need to be made uh from uh, other people for me Let's see what's here. And so the, fir the first card that came out is the tower card. And I love this card. You know, some people go, oh my goodness, you know, the tower card, things are being shaked up in my life. Yeah, well, you see this. It's one person there. <laughs> being thrown out of the tower. Say, get out of here. You don't, you, you don't belong in this place. Get out of there. Stop, stop being caught up, stop being trapped in this tower of, of illusions or false beliefs. <laughs> get off of there, okay? Get out of here. Stop, stop connecting to what no longer serves you and get out of here. It's, the tower is exploding to get you out of there because you're not leaving on your own free will. So you're being forced to, for change. You're being forced to make the, the decisions and choices that you need to make. And, and it's always always a, a good thing um it does look here we have the king of swords okay it came up and with this yeah it could be again this could be uh, getting some legal advice or uh, uh this could be some, some something to do with a person who wears a uniform um but it's a sharp-minded person it's someone who's very very wise really you know maybe good at calculating things so you know don't don't fear this card but because it'd be very someone who gives really good advice who, who knows things and maybe this is you that you know getting the advice that you need look up um, do some research or talking to people to make sure that that you get this advice because this is you know this what these cards here it's it's really confirming the, the first set of cards and then we have the nine of swords here And you see, again, we have, uh, where is it? The Nine of Air. There's two cards that came up together. Sleepless nights, she can't sleep. And, and you know, you see, she's, she's worried, got these swords, but look, look what's in the window here. There's an owl there, see that? You have the wisdom, you know better. <laughs> The self-fulfilling prophecies here, you know, it's just, it's BS, you know, despair, anxiety, fear, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, you got to let that go, okay, you got to let that go, because you know, we have the six of cups here, and this is something from the past, look at little kitty cat, <laughs> let me grass there, this, these are someone from your past, uh, resurfacing or maybe something that happened in your past that's resurfacing um 
a blast from the past, whatever, uh, or stuck in the past, <laughs> or uh, a revival of an old relationship, anything, but this is what's happening that's in the past. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here. With the four pounds, you see, he's, he's holding tightly to his money. So, but maybe you or somebody else, like I said, this can go either way, but the energy is around you. That someone's just holding, afraid of losing, and they're holding on tightly, afraid to take action, afraid to make a choice or decision that's going to happen. So they're holding on tightly. You know, when we hold on to things tightly, our fists are closed. But when we open them up, now they can receive. When our fists are closing, we're holding on tightly onto something. We can't receive wonderful things or things that are coming uh, to us. So we need to open up. And this also can deal with selfishness. Maybe you or somebody else is being very selfish. And it's causing, you know, conflict and problems because they don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, but there, sometimes people don't know they're being selfish, so they're, so they're so caught up with ego and things like that, and they don't know. But anyway, it's time to really buckle down. It's time to get this this moving, these choices and decisions moving. Very, very strong justice is going to be in your favor when you do. When, when you do what's right, stand up for what's what's right and, and defend uh, whatever you're doing. The seeds are already planted. You know, maybe you already planted, maybe put your prayers out already. But now they need nurturing. They need watering. They need sunlight okay, in order to go ahead and grow. Don't worry. Just make the choices. Or if it's somebody else has to make the choices, you know, push them a little bit. Say, hey, it's time. It's, it's time for, for you to make the decision. It's time for us to move on. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, you watching, you bless me more than you know. <laughs> and of course, always know that uh, you are powerful when you're the knowing. When you've got the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed. Okay? But you got to be in that place in order to give it. And know that God blesses and loves you, and so do I. So that's it. Kisses, loves, and hugs from me to you. And of course, I wish every single one of you namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love in you. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.